Okay, I got my eel. Now, let's try and get these dishes out properly this time. Maybe I can figure out what I'm doing mm. wrong. Diminish, diminishing returns. sick mother in my village was bitten by a moray eel, keeping them from going uh, into the sea any longer. I was 12 then, and I went out into the pitch black darkness and, plug darkness and plugged the harpoon into that moray mm. eel's gills. I brought them dead moray eel and the mother made a moray curry and thanks. Thinking of that woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. Uh, in any case, thanks for the food. That was some fantastic cooking. Oh right, I said I'd tell you something nice, right? Nearly forgot about all the nostalgia. Come see me in the empty lot behind the building. Sob. Why are you crying suddenly? It's too good. You fuck. <laughs> it's way too good. Damn it, it's too good. Reminds me of my father. What's going on, kid? My name is Maki. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths, and I can't get in touch with him anymore. 
His favorite food was kumbu and white trevally okazuki. And I remember you sell it here. I thought he might have come by here. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell. I'll be sure to tell if we see someone that looks like your father. And what is that doll? This is Cleone Plushy. My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about Cleone. I have never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Uh, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What do we do? Ah, yes. Could we use this? Lugnet? I think it might work. All right, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Get your tights on and jump in the water. I'm sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. Okay. Now we can complete the tasks for the seahorses as well. Nice. Any tables to clean? Yep. For a regular night, five stars. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did you sleep well yesterday? I told you uh, I'd like. I, I'd. Yesterday I told you I'd tell you something good. Take the boat and come behind the restaurant. Fish farm. What is this place? <laughs> Looks like you're doing quite a lot of hard work catching fish every day. So I got to making a fish farm and finished it in a single day yesterday. A single day? In any case, this is where you can grow fish and also let them multiply. I'll explain slowly, so listen closely. First, come over to the first section. Fish farms need to have the right environments for their fish. Each section has fish from a different depth. Okay. This is where you can grow fish that live at depths of 0 to 50 meters. Each section has limited space and once the density reaches 100%, no more fish can fit. Uh, of course, you can pay a bit of money to expand them. Each section is equipped with its own camera, so you can look inside. Now come along. Nice, isn't it? I added a few fish to start you off. Looks like an aquarium. Just staring into the water is enough to make you all peaceful inside. But that isn't the purpose of the fish farm, of course. I'll teach you how to pluck them. Pluck them out so they can be eaten and pay attention. Fish in the fish farm can be sent to Bancho Sushi to be used as ingredients or sold directly. Even if you fail to catch the fish because you are so busy exploring, you won't need to worry. But how do we add fish to the fish farm? Simply catch them? Well, simply catching them will kill them. Good question. You can farm them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture some fish alive, you'll sometimes get fish eggs. Those eggs will automatically be sent here. And one more thing, if you have one or if you have two or more of the same type, they can also multiply. Oh, I see. I've placed two fish each, so you, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. <laughs> Try coming back tomorrow. Oh. Come on, just wait a day, Dave. I'm sure. 
new fish will be waiting to greet you. Oh, okay, so that's all I can do then? Um, I told you about density um, before, right? You can't put any more fish up the density reaches 100%, so keep that in mind. Gotcha. What's in your shop? Open area. Okay. So each... Right, so each column... There's a night area as well. Okay, cool. That's pretty rad, dude. Well done. Let's go to the sea people and get the uh, seahorses back, right? I hope I didn't have to equip that net. Let's see what happens. Seahorses. I think there was a seahorse in here, right? What does it mean? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Could you venture into the depths for me? Alright, what do you need? Oh my, you're helping? Ha ha ha. Well, I need tube coral, which looks like this. You'll probably find it near the whale bones. Do help me out. Whale bones? I think I've seen them before. Something like coral spor porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Rama had asked me to bring this before. Humans can't be trusted. Well, looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Bancho to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? What's going on? Well, we were playing ball outside the village when a Mega Mouth shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball! Mega Mouth? You mean the huge... Yes! Can you go get... Can you go get it back for us, human? It looked really scary. 
All right, I'll get it back for you. Thank you so much, human. It's so hard to refuse children. the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. What's, what is this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. I heard from Tenzin that you're helping out in the village. Yes, well, that's how it is for now. In that case, there's something I'd like you to help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, uh, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. That sounds like a big deal, but how can I help with something like that? In the days in the days when we see people roam the seas freely, we left some records in human waters. Oh, he must be talking about the Sea People Record Chamber. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, you. Hmm. It was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the Sea People Record Chamber first. All right, I'll try and bring back a, the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, you. May the blessing of King Long go with you. All right. No seahorse in here. Where's that last seahorse? Let's check this other building over here. Back the seahorses. They were quite difficult to find. We can now resume the seahorse races. I'll give you a seahorse, thanks for your help. Where can I get one? Uh, go speak to Yami, who you can find in front of the race course. Hope to see you around the game park, Yami. Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I'm in charge of the seahorse re race course. Hey, I heard you caught all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Lynchin already. We'll give you a nice, strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Jayakar's Seahorse. Talk to Yami at the game parlor. Seahorse racing. Okay. Wow, I've seen many seahorses like this elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? Of course, bring them to me and I'll register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Select the register menu. This is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't you try it out right now? 
Good. Next, select the race menu you to get ready to race. This is where you can select the course and begin a race. Since you're new to this, I suggest selecting course C for starters. This is where you can see the participants and check who you're up against. <laughs> now then, shall we select a seahorse for the race? This is where you can select one of the seahorses you've registered. Oh, the seahorses? Stamina is really important. Always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once seahorses race, they need to rest to recover their stamina. You should have several seahorses ready for the race. Let's go with this one for now. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Aid the cheer to increase the seahorse's speed and win the race. If your gauge goes past the green, you slow down, so be careful. There are different grades and types of seahorses. The types of races are hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. Impressive for your first race. I knew you had potential. Why are you so angry? Junok, that pile of whale poop, must have tricked me. My beluga whistle? I lost my precious whistle to him. Beluga whistle? Yes, the whistle that summons beluga anywhere in the village. I knew I shouldn't have bet that whistle in the game. That heartless swindler tricked me. Human, can you bring it back for me? Me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I am broke. I'm not good at cards. I will play a couple of games for fun. Oh boy, okay. The Luga Whistle? <laughs> the one the, the foul-tongued lady gave to you? She lost five times straight and went all in. She bet the whistle in the last game. She looked like she needed it. Could you give it back to her? Now for free, play cards with me and win. Then I'll give it back to the woman. Quite annoying. Well, if you say so, if I win, you give the whistle back. Sure, sure, let's play the game. You need to bet some money. I got money now, bro. Flip cards to pair up the matching ones. Whoever pairs up the most matching cards wins.
suck at this game, you guy. Does the AI just pick a random set of cards? My pride. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this to blow the whistle. Give that to the lady over there. I'm impressed, human. This is it. The blow the whistle. Well done. But, but what? You need Bay to summon and ride the blue one. I went bankrupt playing the games with that dude. Hey, can you have? Hey, you can have this whistle. But I don't even know how to use it. It's easy. You just blow this whistle anywhere in the village to call the beluga. Though you will need to pay some bay to ride the beluga. Well, I am sure with your skills you can easily make some money from the casino, no doubt. I should summon the beluga when I have to cover a large distance. Pretty fun games in there. Okay, um, let's see. Tube coral. Right. Try out this beluga.
Okay. Cool. everything, man. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't want to equip that. Let me equip.
very soon here. That's okay. That was still a really good trip. Yeah, look at all the fish we caught. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hard to believe that something I've only heard of in legend is real. If there is good beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks underwater. VIP appeared, Michael Bay. Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with that, mm -hmm. what I can get. What a rude customer. What do you want? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director, Michael Bang. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Ha, huh, looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director, Michael Bang. I can't believe he's talking like, uh, yeah. like that about himself. I'm filming my new movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get the ending scene right. I think I might need, I might, I think I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear my head. It doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait, Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. All I can remember was explosions. If you can make another, su another such great movie through my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. Oh, so you're a fan. I'm grateful. But can you pull it off? I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. That's why we use the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food that will make your head all but explode with inspiration. Well, all right, I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. All right, Michael Bay, I mean, Michael Bay. Mm. Bancho Sushi, do you have a plan? Bancho, do you have a plan? Cooking is an art form. I know well the pain of it. Tour. I'll prepare food that will inspire him, however, as he said, the rice I use is the Anam, Anam rice of this region. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. I've been listening in on, on to your conversation. If it's rice, I think I could come up with something. Oh, do you have an idea, Otto? <laughs> Give me just a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. We can get high quality rice. We can make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan trigger fish, Harley Quinn, find. I don't know if I found that in coral trout. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates flourish. 
Please don't be late. Shades flourish. Whatever. Lots of sushi on the menu tonight. Hello there, wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. Please keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday. Thousand bucks, nice. A warrior parrotfish has increased magazine sales. Udo has sent you a monetary reward to show your appreciation. Auto. Hello, Dave. Have a good mm -hmm. night's sleep. Well, I suppose so. You sound tired. Well, I stayed up all night working on something. <laughs> what were you working on? I'll show you. Get to the boat. Get on the boat and come over next to the fish farm. <laughs> what is this place? I tried some food at the restaurant. The sushi has an anam's Anam rice mixed in, doesn't it? Yes, that's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Pancho has got superb skills, but he won't meet that picky movie director standard with that kind of grain. Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. Well, that's very nice, thank you. Thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. What should I do first? I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you a little with the mm. growing the rice. It takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is no rice farming game, is it? You'll be able to see results mm. in two or three days, but the only thing is, I've <laughs> injured my legs. 
you'll have to pluck out the weeds. That'll prevent insects from harming the crop. Of course, if we can have good rice, plucking weeds is no problem. To think there's a rice paddy right behind the restaurant. That's really great. Glad to see you like it. As for the state of the rice paddy, technology has come a long way and you can use a mobile app to check on it. The app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. That reminds me, I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. I'd gone to a farming village in Thailand, a very hot day. I was resting in the shade. White-haired village chief came over, looked right in my eyes, and told me, Enough. Now, now, pull your temper. As it happens, I see some weeds over there. Go pluck them. Good. Pluck the weeds out like that, and we'll and I'll do the watering. I'm pretty sure that even that picky director would be satisfied with rice that of this quality. If you don't if you don't visit often to remove the weeds, the soil health score may drop, causing pests to appear. I just need to come and remove the pests every now and again. I can do that. Let's check the fish. Uh -huh. Come on. Just wait a day, Dave. I'm sure new fish will be waiting to greet you tomorrow. I did wait a day. What do you mean? <laughs> um, okay. Um, I've marked the sections with new fish with hearts, so they're easy to recognize. Go see for yourself. Yeah, well, I was just here. Wow, the mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. I'll mark them with hearts if mul if you if mul if I'll mark them with hearts if fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm reminded of my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out on my ship, and the storm flipped over my ship. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. I didn't know that. Alright. I'll come by after the check. Thanks, Otto. I feel less pressure to catch fish. Okay.
Coral porch, mm -hmm. something I made before. Yes, there's another sick part, C person. Here's the ingredient. Alright, hand it over to me. Thank you, Mojo. Awesome. I can take this to the sea person at the workshop. While I'm here... It's in here. Let's try using the flashlight. L. Use the flashlight. Scared little guy. Squid. <laughs> 
There you are. Okay, I'm sure it's inside. Should I check on it? It seems to have calmed down a bit. Let's try luring it outside. Okay. Let's try the high quality food here that Lincoln gave us. Use the bug net to catch it. Great, now let's take the squid to the link. Customers today, the thing is, there was a seaweed collector named Suchi. The collector provided seaweed at our, to our restaurant, however, Tucci, or Suchi hasn't been coming by, so we're out of ingredients and can't accept any customers. Oh no, is there any way to contact Suchi? I have the key to Suchi's house, but I can't just leave the restaurant. How did you get the key? Oh, Suchi has a very large pet turtle. I used to go feed it from time to time. Dave, can you go for me instead? Oh, it just... It, oh, it must be tough to not be able to open a restaurant. I'll try going there. Can you tell me where it is? Thing is, it's kind of hard to explain because the terrain keeps changing. That turtle eats so many jellyfish. Maybe there are traces nearby. Strange. I'll try looking for it. Thank you, human. I was afraid I'd never see my pet again. It was difficult to bring your pet here. I'll make sure this never happens again. And here's another small gift for you. Silgio's portrait. I'll hang it up in the restaurant. Thank you. Please drop by the casino from time to time, human.
It seems the villagers seem to trust you quite a lot. I'd first like to thank you for everything you've done for our village. It seems everyone's friendlier than I thought. I don't trust you fully just yet, but we could we could use all the help we can get right now. Let me explain to you about this village a bit. Did you see the tree at the center of the village? Yes, it's huge and covered with ice. Yes, we call it the divine tree. We use the fruit of this tree as an energy source. The tree has its roots far below the bottom, using a geothermal heat to create energy. Because the fruits are created from this energy, there is a giant glacier under the tree that is under our village. A glacier on the bottom, on the sea bottom? I've never heard of such a thing. But, as of late, the heat coming from deep in the earth has grown hotter, melting the ice slowly. As the temperature of the tree increases, more and more villagers are falling ill. We keep praying to King Long, but we know things aren't so simple as that. We need to check on the glacier below the surface because we've re relied on only agriculture for so long. We don't have the equipment or the technology to explore down here, embarrassing as it is. That's why I told you we need the human's help. I must admit, that is now our only option. In any case, I know it's a difficult task, but will you check out the glacial area below the village for us? That sounds very dangerous, but alright. There have been more tremors on the surface as well. I think all that, all this might be connected somehow. Thank you. I'll be sure to, re to recompense, recompense you somehow. Now then, you'll need the key down to the glacial passage. The key. Where is the key? Tenzin, when we sealed the glacial passage, we put the key inside the abandoned cave, remember? Oh dear, you're right. I sense, I sense something is not right again. Human, please go get the key to the glacial passage from the abandoned cave. Suan will take you there. It's not dangerous, is it? <laughs> Nothing has happened there for the last century. No one's ventured there in for 100 years. Anyways, we need to find out what's going on in the glacial zone before it's too late. It's getting late, so come back tomorrow when the sun is up. Suan will guide you on, his, on this path. Great, because I trust him real well.
stage begins in Duff's dream when the high button reaches the cursor press on the left and right trigger button oh no it's a dance game hate these games uh, use L and R up and down the green when an orange note appears shake L and R Left and right for loud applause. Now it's time for some cheering. Having a heart attack and his 
ecstasy. A mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. I will not be doing that if I can avoid it. That guy's... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. That's too much for me. <laughs> By the way, Tenzin asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage Key. I must return to the Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. It's party day! Prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune. 